This city on water is made up of over a hundred islets, interconnected by a labyrinth of picture-perfect canals and elegant bridges. Life around here has remained the same for hundreds of years, and steadfast through that time have been the gondoliers of Venice. They see themselves as custodians of the city. Today, there are only 400 gondoliers left, and they're almost exclusively used by tourists. It's a 40 years. 40, 40 years, years ago I started. But we, I handled before because I passed a test at 18, 19 years old. Mm -hmm. Late uh, working for uh, my father a little bit in the summer vacation. So it was in the family? Si, si. I'm a uh, seven generation. Seventh generation seven gondolier. Generation. With the local population of around 50,000 people, dwarfed by 20 million visitors every year, Ferruccio and his fellow gondoliers aren't short of a customer or two. And while that's good for business, the numbers swelling the main tourist areas inevitably create a huge problem. Increased pollution, including discarded junk clogging up the famous waterways. But now, some of the gondoliers who ply their trade in the 276 canals are doing something about it. They hope to solve at least some of the problem with a voluntary initiative to perform regular underwater canal cleanups. Well, what gave you the idea to start cleaning the canals? About uh, three years ago, no? we were uh, working in gondola. No? The water not too much deeper, eh? and I see many tires, many tires and, and the rest. Eh? Right. We start eh, in the February 2019, yeah? And uh, we bring about uh, 1,000 kilograms in the first time. Dredging up tons of rubbish, ranging from shopping trolleys to car tires, is a mammoth and potentially dangerous task. So the men are given bespoke training. They dive using specialist equipment in order to operate safely. And early on Sunday morning, long before tourists arrive, I'm joining the guys for the real deal. That's one hardcore scuba diving suit. There's not one bit of skin showing. Now, I've dived before. I'm not sure I'd want to go into the canals of Venice, as lovely as they are. I want to find out what the newly trained canal cleaners have to contend with. Stefano? Stefano. Stefano, Stefano. 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 <laughs> OK, so what is all this? The heart of the operation. The teams have to stay in constant communication. It's crucial to help the guys underwater cope with the difficult conditions. It must be very dark and gloomy. Can you see? 10 centimeters, 20. That's it. Maybe no. Wow. Touch, you know? Oh, OK. You go by feel down there. So, Stefano, how often do you do this? Every every Sunday? No, every Sunday, no. Uh -huh. Just in the winter. Ah. Because in the summer I have to traffic. Right. Many gondolas, many taxi workers. I see. You know, today is special because in this canal I don't drive too many boats. Much of today's catch is all too familiar. Many bottles. Lots of bottles. The tricky, the guys in the night time. You know? Yeah. I walk. You, you jump in the, the, the bottle, empty in the can. Right. Since the cleanup began, some 4,000 carelessly discarded bottles have been retrieved. But later, a baffling object rears its head and has everyone mystified. There's something really big on the line here. It looks really, really heavy. There's about three of them trying to pull it out. What is that? Oh, my goodness. <gasps> it's a trolley. It's probably somebody's luggage from about 20 years ago that went off into the canal. Look, it's been down there for so long. It's covered in, in barnacles and slime and sludge. 
Is that coral? No, yeah. it's a sponge. No, 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 sponges. These are sponges. Wow. Heavy sponges. Another. Oh, there's a rope. Oh, yes. What's it like down there? Uh, mud. <laughs> mud. 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 Is it dangerous down there? Uh, the equipment they use uh, is a full protection against the pollution because uh, the problem is not really the water itself but uh, the mud. The mud is laying uh, on in the canals uh, years after years and is full of bacteriological and chemical uh, pollution. But what about the gondoliers when they are working? Is it difficult if there's rubbish? Yes, you know, to... yes. When the tide is low, they feel something in, in the water that is not the real seafloor, you know? Yeah. Canals must be cleaned. Uh, to transfer this idea to the public is very important. Mm -hmm. And also for the sensibility of people, uh, people living in Venice and also tourists, that they don't have to throw things uh, in the canals. Once the rubbish has been retrieved, gondoliers hand it over to the local council to dispose of it correctly. It's been an impressive haul today, and that's just from one trip. So with another 200 or more canals to go, something tells me they've got a lot to keep them busy for some time yet. <laughs>